Welcome to Lessons in RxJS. My name is Nick Lankhammer, and I'm a senior enterprise software engineer at Brebug. Today, we're going to talk about the RxJS operator, start with. So what is start with? As its name implies, it is a function that returns an observable that synchronously emits provided values before subscribing to the source observable. So whatever values you provide to it will be emitted from the stream before it subscribes to the data from its source. Use start with when you have a use case where you want your stream to start with a specific value. It's that simple. Let's look at a use for start with in setting up a loading indicator. In this example, our observable creates a walking ellipses while an asynchronous load is loading. The start with at the end of the pipe guarantees that the first thing the user will see is message dot dot dot. After that, the interval's other operators take over and the user sees message dot, message dot dot, and so on, cycling through until the load is complete. Let's look at a use for start with in setting up a live search. We start with a new form control and pipe into its value changes observable stream. This emits a new value when the value changes on the control. Within that pipe, we add the start with operator. This will start the stream off for us with an empty string to ensure that until the user inputs, our list of states will show. We finish off by combining the latest from the states observable and filter value changes observable. Using this approach allows us one source of truth for states. This eliminates the headache of maintaining two separate state lists, the complete list and the list of filtered states. With RxJS, there are so many operators to choose from that we can tend to unintentionally bloat our observable streams. I like to make sure my observable streams are simple and to the point to keep the code clean. Always try to find the most precise way to pipe data within a stream to arrive at the final destination exactly as intended with as little code as possible. I trust this has been informative, and next time you need a default value in a data stream, you can utilize start with. Please make sure to check out some of our other lessons in RxJS. Until next time, keep piping.